Boys, can we do L'Hôpital? I'm perfectly well, thanks. I don't need to go. No, Joe, L'Hôpital, not hospital. It's what we use when we can't quite determine the limit of a fraction. Like this fraction up here? Yeah, that fraction looks gnarly. So look, as we make X closer and closer to zero, this E to the X will get closer and closer to equaling one. So then as we minus one from it, the top of the fraction will end up approaching zero. And the bottom of the fraction, which is just X, will end up approaching zero too. Well, what's the limit then? Well, we, we can't really say what zero over zero is. So this is where we'd use hospitals rule, you see. Uh, Hopital. So give me a break, Donald. I'm not exactly French. Yet. Brothers, please. Lopetal's rule states that if the limit of a function over another function is indeterminate, like the zero over zero we just had, we can try to find it by working out the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. Yeah, let's do it for that question from before. Okay, so for the top, e to the x's derivative is still e to the x. And minus one is just a constant, so its derivative is zero. And for the bottom, the derivative would just be one. Oh, so now we've got the limit of e to the x over one, so just e to the x. Exactly, and this is actually doable now. As x approaches zero, e to the x will approach e to the zero. So the answer to this is one, and that's the answer to our original question, hallelujah. Wait, so is that it? Is that hospital? Yeah, but that was just the case where our first try gave us zero over zero. You can also use hospital's rule if you ever end up with infinity over infinity.